So, uh, it's a good question um, about the, the gap, the relation between gap and uh, field strength. Uh, this is a gap tool. Uh, it Hold it near the screen. It, it, will, it will help you to either set it to half inch or uh, three quarter of an inch. Um, it's pretty obvious how to use and you will just put it between the uh, poles and this one obvious. But one implication is that the fit strength will be less for a, a larger gap. And uh, while for half inch, which we have now, the maximum field is 22,000 Ørsted. When you change the gap, for whatever reason, you will change to 3 quarter of an inch, you have to change this number here to 18,000 Ørsted. So, you know, you just click there and have to get, uh, you change it. Uh, this will limit how much the power supply tries to uh, run the magnet and how high. Uh, but it's not good if you if you have a large gap and declare a higher field than possible achievable. It means that the power supply will work very hard and use a, a really high current, and it can get, get damaged. So that's why these uh, settings have to be in a strict accordance with the gap. Uh, I'll return it to our value, which is 22. Uh, but it's worth mentioning that you need to have a correct setting for the correct gap. Okay. Okay, now let's run uh, the hysteresis loop for the right. calibration so, sample. So let's try a hysteresis loop at the sample uh, which is already there, but let's try to go to the maximum field uh, to see uh, how actually uh, this, this sample will uh, look at the maximum field. Let's say the step will be 100 hours the uh, average time 100 milli hours the uh, positive maximum field uh, is put uh, one second and uh, average is one. So it will take one minute 35 seconds. We will, you know, probably stop it somewhere in between. But let's uh, let's start. It. So execute. One thing it's worth mentioning is that you notice it's a ascending trend at the beginning. And after that, uh, you know, I expect to do the same on, uh, on the way back. And uh, we can stop now and we can show it after the image is recorded. Uh, 